Welcome to P&G Technologies. We are a supplier of custom-built natural gas and propane kits for generators. The reason I'm doing this video today is we're going to talk about the natural gas. That is our, that's probably our number one tech call. We, 99.9% .9 of the time is that. We never really have any issues with propane. The reason we have issues with natural gas is how people are hooking them up. Um, the correct way to do it and I'll give you a little illustration here of a picture. You want to go direct to your meter, okay? That way you have no interference anywhere. A lot of people try to tie into a pool heater, okay, or their uh, hot water tank. It doesn't work. You don't know where that hose is going, what they have involved in it, if it's half inch, if it's running through the attic. There's just so many variances that can go wrong with it. Another way is you don't want to hook through your house a big heater we already went through the pool and the other stuff there but these are the incorrect ways and the this restricts volume and natural gas you need it okay now, okay to determine how much natural gas volume you need to your generator you'll take the horsepower of the engine and you'll times it by 2543.44 That'll give you your BTUs per hour. Now, another big issue that a lot of people do is try to buy quick connects that are orificed. And you can notice the stem on this, on the male side. You notice that it is orificed on the inside. This doesn't work. It, it just restricts it. It'll work for your barbecue grill. That's why with our quick connects, you can see straight through them. Okay, now a lot of people say, well, that's kind of a hazard. Well, you're shutting it off with the ball valve anyway, and none of this is going to pull apart, you know. So that's why we use this. We've been doing this a long time, and we have found that to be a problem solution for all of them. Um, the only time we ever get a call is if we sell a hose, is if they're tying into something they shouldn't be. Every elbow is like adding 20 feet of hose. Every T is like 25 feet of hose. And the reason why is when it comes into it, it has to go hit the wall and come back through. And you remember, you're feeding this with vacuum. Even though you have pressure from the meter, the engine vacuum off the regulator is what's bringing it in. And it doesn't give it enough. So we want to kind of explain that a little bit. And then we also want to explain a lot of people purchase this type of hose. A lot of it's on the internet. And these are orificed. Again, you can see it on the male. And also, you, you can't see inside the female here, but it is in this one also. So that causes a lot of problems with natural gas. So hopefully this will solve a lot of issues. Uh, before you purchase the kit, we're gonna put this video on every one of our natural gas pages so people can understand why we do what we do when we're doing this. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call us at 734-992-2648 or you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com. I hope this video helps. Thank you, have a wonderful day.